Hello friends, today we shall prepare aluminium ion batteries using graphite plates. It is uh, homemade graphite plates, handmade, compressed graphite plates and I found the conductance to be 2.5 ohms. So I am replacing the regular uh, carbon rods which I was using it. So less uh, surface area. So I thought I have to do it myself. So carbon sheet I have made. So using this we will we'll prepare and see what is the volt and ampere. See in front of you I am showing the conductance. Okay. So I have clipped two graphite plates as one electrode. Able to see? It is around 2.5, 2.3, 2.2, 2.1. Able to see? So conductance is 2.1 to 2.5. So using this as my positive electrode, I am going to prepare. For this, I need one items. This to keep inside, I have prepared a polyester fiber cloth bag. So I will insert this, then I will fill the graphite MnO2 small traces of lead and cobalt oxide in this. Then I will tie it. I refer even my previous videos, same technique I am using it. So instead of rods, I am using these plates. So I am going to insert this, then fills required quantities of carbon black, graphite, MnO2, all that. Similarly, for aluminum sheet, I am going to use like this, aluminum sheet. So I already given a wire, see, I folded like this and I connected a wire for it. Okay friends, this also on the top for better conductance, I have placed a tin sheet as a plug. So that soldering is easy. So this I prepared for positive, this for negative. Even the box, I made it ready. Because calculating the electrode size, all that aluminum sheet, I made a box. So that it will be easy for us. So step by step, after filling the graphite port and all that, I'll show you the final product. Okay. So finally, up to, I have filled the carbon black powders, graphite MnO2. This powder I have filled on the top of this electrode, plate, graphite sheet. So this is a polyester bag. So I just uh, filled, I mean, closed it. I tied also. For safety sake, I tied it for bottom also. So that these powders will be there. This will be our positive electrode. So negative already aluminum sheet. This is what my design is. Though I am going to place it in between, I have to place ceramic pads. These are all absorbent pads, ceramic. So my electrolyte will be zinc chloride, 4 molar zinc chloride, which I already prepared. 50 ml I have prepared 4 molar zinc chloride. This will be our requirements. So like this, in this gap, I am going to place this. Then I am going to insert into my container. Okay. So after placing in the container, I will show you how it looks. You can see the steps. Container, I insert the aluminium negative plate then in the center I have now this pad I cut the size thus inserted so that this will be little in a higher position than the aluminum plate so that it will project here it has to come like this it will project okay for that sake and plus it should not mix I mean uh, get contact with the negative plate this will be our step then I have to Shield this with the asbestos, this same ceramic pad. After this, I'll show you. This is after inserting the ceramic pad surrounding the electrode, positive electrode. This will be a negative aluminum plate. This is how it looks. Then what we have to do is we have to inject this electrolyte, zinc chloride. Through injection, I will inject it. I will fill this tub with the zinc chloride. Then I will close this using a lid. 
we'll see what is the volt and it current it generates so i connected the voltmeter positive the negative this one okay to this wire and we will now inject our electrolyte and see how the volt develops i am injecting the electrolyte the pad should get first welt wetted then only there will be current produced slowly it is gaining so actually it will need around 75 ml i prepared only 50 ml we'll see it slowly the volt is getting increased slowly getting red increased so it requires more electrolyte i have to prepare again and i am going to inject into this tub container now at present it is 0.95 i have to fill up and wet all this pad with the electrolyte friends after saturation i am able to see around 1.5 volt 1.5 volt it is even the ampere we can read out 1.5 volt you know i'm okay around 4 4 5 4 4.4 i'm mean 400 milli ampere it is able to give you see how the motor runs also so running fine this is aluminum ion battery using home made graphite sheet not the graphite rods which i used to get from the old batteries this is using our own handmade graphite sheet it's able to give 1.5 volt and i mean 400 milliamps able to use even the running volt is 1.44 volt it's able to give okay this is running the motor plus the running motor volt is 1.42 even getting saturated it will be still better okay friends okay friends this is our aluminum ion battery using a home made carbon sheet replacing the regular carbon rods which i get from the old batteries you can hear this sound also battery okay friends if you like can you click the like button you can subscribe you can pass your comments thank you Thank you.